Hello sunshines, welcome back to my channel. Now this video is long overdue and you guys have been requesting this video for so many years from me because as most of you know, one of the first things that I changed in my lifestyle as I was transitioning to a more natural lifestyle is my cleaning products. So in this video, you guys get to see my basic cleaning essentials, my longtime favorites, brands that I like to use, products that I like to use, definitely some tips and tricks for those of you who are new to the whole natural lifestyle. I'm here to try make your life much easier because I know that a lot of people are interested in switching to more natural products for whatever reason it may be. Maybe it's your New Year's resolution. Maybe you have kids who you're concerned about being around toxic chemicals. A lot of people don't want their pets around toxic chemicals either. And of course, I find it really important for those reasons and all of the above. And something I'm really excited to share with you guys in this video is that I recently found a company called The Grove Collaborative. Their website is grove.co. And I wish I had this website. I don't know if it was around years ago when I started, but I wish I had a website like this one when I was first starting out because they carry so many different brands all in one place and it's all based on sustainable products, natural products, non-toxic products of all different brands and selections and even cleaning accessories like microfiber towels, dusters, bins, washcloths, etc. So I really wanted to feature them in this video because it's my first cleaning video and I know you guys are going to find this website very beneficial. Their delivery service is amazing. I purchased some cool stuff from their website that you guys are going to see in this video. So let's get started. Let's begin with my laundry because this is what I get asked about the most and it's also how I kick off my cleaning. But really quick, I just want to say thank you to the person who sent me this awesome shirt with my name on it. I've had it for like a year and I never really got to say thank you, but I love it really much. Thank you. And also a little FYI for those of you who have not caught up to my videos yet. I am pregnant during the filming of this video and that's why I have this belly in front of me. Okay, now back to laundry. I'm doing some wipes here, sheets and towels, and I use a few things. This is the Ecover non-chlorine bleach, which I also use sometimes to pre-soak some of my stained whites. And I also like adding baking soda to my whites. You can use any brand, it doesn't have to be this one. And I also use borax with all of my loads, even my colored items. And lastly, I use my Dr. Bronner's Sal Suds for my whites because it's strong yet safe and effective. And I've been using this for years, so no, I don't measure it, but you can just follow the directions in the back of the bottle. And I'm not doing any colors today, but this is what I use when I am doing colored clothing. And I also use this fabric softener. And I also use wool balls in my dryer instead of dryer sheets. And while my laundry is washing, let's move on to my dishes and kitchen cleaning. This is my favorite room to clean, by the way. But before I do so, here's how I prep my cleaning essentials for the entire home. I love these three-pack concentrated cleaners that I got from Grove. And it's even color matched the reusable glass protective silicone bottom so that I can identify which one's which. And I just simply insert each pack into each bottle. And here we have an all-purpose cleaner, a tub and tile cleaner, and a glass cleaner. Then I just add some water, shake it up, and it's ready to go. It even comes with these stickers to identify from the all-purpose cleaner, tub and tile, and glass cleaner, which is very helpful. And oh my god, I'm so obsessed with this storage caddy from Grove that helps with carrying my essential items around the house so easily. And I also use these reusable sponge cloths from the brand Full Circle. And I've been using these for years. It comes with three colors so that you don't cross-contaminate from the kitchen to the bathroom and the bedroom. And the best part is that by using this, I save so much on paper towels. It's more absorbable than paper towels and it's less wasteful. I also add in reusable microfiber cloths and a mini dustpan for table messes. And you'll see why later in the video. Lastly, I like to keep a bottle of vinegar and water at hand for quick and easy disinfecting for every single room in my home. Vinegar is such a great cleaner and it deodorizes, it disinfects everything in such a safe way. In my dishwasher, I refill with the Ecos Rinse Aid, which is an occasional step. And I use the Ecos dishwasher gel along with the If You Care dishwasher tablets. And there's certain things I just prefer washing by hand. So here are some of the things that I use. 
I love this glassware brush cleaner that I got from Grove. This makes cleaning tall bottles so easy and it's made by one of my favorite brands which is Full Circle. I also keep this mini brush at hand because it has these firm bristles to deep clean hard to reach spaces and edges and corners, you know? And I've had this bottle cleaner for years and it's also from the brand Full Circle. And this is a sponge I like to use which I've been purchasing for many years but I just got a new set of two from The Grove and this is a great sustainable brush I've also been using for many years on my dishes and it looks so nice displayed by my sink but for the purpose of this video I just got a new one from The Grove just to show you in this video which I'm saving under my sink for now now I don't always wear cleaning gloves but I love this one because it's made with natural latex and it's lined with cotton so my hands don't get sweaty inside or feel wet and yucky, you know? After I'm done with my dishes, I let them dry on my microfiber pads and then I store them away to keep a neat look in my kitchen. Now remember the set of cleaners I prepped earlier? Here's how I use them. I lowered the lighting here so you can see the actual dirt on my white counters and see how easy it is to clean without paper towels as well. And here I'm using the all-purpose spray with my yellow reusable sponge cloth. This way I know that the yellow one is only for the kitchen and I don't cross-contaminate and I use the other colors for other parts of the home. I also spray the rest of my counters with my all-purpose spray and on my stovetop, but I let it settle into my stovetop for a little while so that it's easier to wipe away any grease and food later. And after giving that a full wipe down, I rinse off my cloth and come back and reuse it again the same way, but this time I'm spraying it with vinegar all over the counter to finish off the cleaning and I also spray the wall behind my stove with the same vinegar to remove any grease and stains and stuff. And I rinse clean my cloth again and again and I wipe down the top of the vent area which gets dusty and greasy from time to time. And this cloth makes it so easy to pick up that accumulated grime that we get. And I simply wipe it down over and over while also rinsing my cloth over and over until there's no residue coming off on my cloth. For my stove, I wipe it first, then go in with something heavier to remove stains and sticky stuff. So for this, I put on my gloves and I use my dish soap with a stainless steel scrubbing pad to really remove the stains on my white stove top. So as long as I have these items to clean it off, I don't actually need to use a stove cleaner. I just use my regular dish soap and a little bit of arm strength and I'm good. And now that my kitchen countertops is all cleaned, I can move on to wiping and dusting the rest of my home. And here's where my storage caddy comes in handy because I can walk around the house with it, carrying all my items. And after I remove the food from my table with my mini dust pan, I can now wipe it down using my all-purpose cleaner with my microfiber cloth, which I absolutely love because I use it on all the tables in my dining room and my kitchen. From time to time, I like to add a little tiny bit of coconut oil on my cloth along with the all-purpose spray in order to shine my wood items like this one, but today I'm not doing that, I'm just doing basic cleaning. For dusting, I've been using this dusting cloth from E-Cloth for many years because it's washable and it's small, it's easy to put away. But a few months ago, I decided to purchase this one from Full Circle because it picks up dust much better from larger spaces and it's also very easy to maintain because the duster part is removable and washable. At this point, I love turning on my oil diffuser, which I prefer over candles because in my opinion, it's more beneficial for us than candles and safer to use as it only contains water and your choice of essential oils. These are two of my favorite oils to use at home, by the way. And I have another diffuser in my bedroom, which is made out of bamboo wood and ceramic, and I love it. And here I'm just finishing off wiping down my TV stand with my all-purpose spray and my microfiber towel and then moving on to dusting my bookshelf.
And I also use my microfiber towel on my large windows with my glass cleaner because it doesn't leave any streaks or lint behind. And now for my floor cleaning. I sweep just like everyone else does. I don't have a special broom for this. So this is just a standard broom from any store, nothing special. And of course I always sweep before mopping my floors. And during this time I was sweeping a lot because of my Christmas tree. And I actually filmed this video a few days before Christmas. I make my own floor cleaner, which I'm so excited to show you guys because it's so simple and effective. I simply add vinegar in a bottle and then I add a little bit of sal suds, shake it well to stir together, and then fill up the rest with water and there you go. That's my own DIY disinfecting strong floor cleaner with natural ingredients. I use my e-cloth mop to clean my floors because it has a reusable and washable cloth attachment which is more eco-friendly and so convenient to use. I basically use my floor cleaner small amounts at a time, give my floors a good wipe down with my cloth, then rinse off my cloth and come back with it clean and then repeat. After cleaning my entire living room floor with my liquid, I come back with a clean dampened cloth with just water on it and I give it a final wipe down without soap. And I do the same thing for my kitchen, of course, and the rest of my home. And then I move on to my entryway where we take off our shoes before entering the home just because I think it's more sanitary. And I use this vacuum on my area rug and under my stairway because that's the dustiest area in my entire home. And this vacuum works even on hardwood flooring, not just rugs and carpets. And lastly, the bathroom, which is my least favorite area to clean, so I often have Manny do this part, but here's what I do. I first remove everything off the countertop to give it a good wipe down with my tub and tile cleaner, and I also spray some vinegar to disinfect the faucet and sink area. And here I use the blue sponge cloth so I know to only use it in the bathroom counters, and I wipe everything down with it and then rinse it off. And this is my guest bathroom and here I like to keep this hand sanitizer for any lazy people who come and visit me and don't want to use hand soap. As long as you're using something, I don't care. But in my hand soap dispenser, I have this a la maison. Mm -hmm. Sounds very French. It's a fig and basil hand soap that smells really nice. For the shower glass doors, I use the glass cleaner and spray with vinegar on the inside. And I also scrub the shower floors with my Dr. Bronner cell suds. To scrub the toilets, I also use sal suds and I also use baking soda, but with my vinegar spray, I clean the toilet seat and for this, I do use paper towels because I don't feel it's sanitary or feel comfortable using anything reusable in the toilet area, you know? And finally, I clear away my sink area, wipe everything down just like I did before. I use my microfiber cloth and glass cleaner and vinegar and everything and there you go. All right, I am done, so done with cleaning for today. I hope you guys found this video very helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. And everything featured in this video, links, information, etc., will be down below in the description box. Oh, and before I forget, make sure you guys click the link down below to the grove.co because by clicking my link, all new customers to The Grove will get a free gift set with any purchase of $20 and above. So that's amazing. You cannot miss out on that. And yeah, that's it guys. I hope to see you in the next video if you're subscribed to my channel. And if you're not, click that subscribe button right down below and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully. Bye sunshines.